out there. We're seeing conditions 67 degrees after hitting a high. Actually, our daytime high was 70 degrees, just a degree above 69. But that cooler temperature is not sticking around too much. As we see throughout the valley, we're looking at temperatures anywhere from the mid 60s to the upper 60s. Mesopotamia 67 and pretty much the same thing across the board. Now tonight we're going to drop back down, but this time only into the low to mid 40s in some locations. It's still going to be chilly, but clouds and radar. We're not seeing anything. No clouds clouds, no rain, and that's going to be good news. That's going to continue here for the next 24 to 48 hours, but a different story in the state of Florida. We're seeing Hurricane Irma now pushing, making the secondary landfall in Marco Island. That's just south of Fort Myers. Now notice that outer eye wall. That's where the strongest wind gusts are currently. Naples Airport, just south of Fort Myers, had a wind gust of 142 miles an hour just less than an hour ago. But the real threat is these outer bands. That's where we're seeing all of these tornadoes begin to spawn and that is the strongest quadrant of this storm. So right now we're seeing Hurricane Irma just around 120, 110 miles an hour is still a strong category two storm making its way northward. Now you can see the hurricane warnings extending all the way from Key West up towards Panama City, but that's not the only threat. The threat of tornadoes that we're seeing anywhere from around Fort Pierce, that's Indian River area, up towards Daytona Beach. In this area, we've seen upwards of 12 to 20 tornado warnings already this uh, so far today, and we're just getting started. But if you look anywhere from around Alabama, down towards Georgia, even through the Carolinas, that tropical storm warning is still in effect for those areas. They're expecting winds and even rain up to around a foot, especially as we get towards that coast area. But as far as where is it going next, that's the real question for those of us in the valley. Notice how most of the models have been going through Georgia, through the Columbus area, up towards Huntsville and Memphis, and then watch as it makes a turn. It's going to interact with another cold front that's going to be making its way through the west, and it's going to stall it right over the Tennessee Valley and eventually push off to the northeast towards our area here in Ohio. But what are we seeing, though, and when we're going to see the rain? The good news the cooler weather and the dry weather are going to stick around. We're seeing low tonight into the mid 40s, but if you like the warmer weather, it's going to be back in the forecast tomorrow. We're going to warm back up with mostly sunny skies back into the 70s, but notice how we get into Tuesday. We are going to continue to warm, but only into the mid 70s again, but the 80s, we can't rule it out just yet, but with those warmer temperatures, we are expecting the chance for rain, but not until we hit around lunchtime come Wednesday. So overall, Monday is going to be dry, Tuesday is going to be dry, but still tracking the chance for that long arm of Irma starting to push towards the valley like Harvey did just a couple weeks ago. But for tonight, lows into the mid 40s, mostly clear skies. And then by tomorrow, we're going to warm up into the mid 70s and a few of us still into the upper 60s, mostly sunny skies, just a light breeze. It's going to be absolutely beautiful, especially as we look over the next several days. Now we are seeing that chance for Irma and watching it very closely, but giving it just around a 30% chance that low confidence on where that storm is going to head. We could be dry some of those days or see rain, and so you're going to have to watch very closely as we head towards the end of this week. But Molly, look at those temperatures back up into the upper 70s, and we could even see 80s once again. All right, that's